Hey guys, welcome back. Hey, so if you are new and you've never seen me before, I'm Sarah and I make a lot of these types of videos, a lot of like kids haul, mom videos, I also make what's for dinner videos, clean with me videos, decor videos, beauty videos, plus size fashion videos. If you are a fan of any of those types of things, I would love it if you stuck around and checked out the rest of my content. I love making YouTube videos and I love being able to just hang out with you guys, talk to you and just have fun. So if you are interested in that stuff, please subscribe. I would love it. And uh, yeah, so welcome. Um, so today's video is a back to school haul. It's crazy that I'm already filming this. Like I feel like I didn't film the one from last year that long ago, so it's kind of crazy. Um, I did film in my day in the life, which go watch that if you haven't. I did already kind of give you a sneak peek of some of the stuff that I did purchase for my kiddos. Um, but if you've never seen me before, I have two girls. One is four and one is two. My two year old is not ready to start preschool yet, obviously, so she will be with me. Um, I used to run my own home daycare and have worked in early childhood education for a long time and so um, but this year I'm taking the year off and just kind of focusing um, on my girls before my oldest who is four officially goes and starts school full-time so she will be going to pre-k this year she went to preschool last year and she'll go to pre-k this year it's kind of like a half day program um, so she won't be fully like immersed in school school yet so this year is just kind of my last year to just spend time with them before they're schoolers and it's weird to say that so anyway but I still wanted to get them prepped and have a couple of things to go back to school with. So that's what this video is. Um, but like I said in my day in the life video, I did go to Dollar Tree and kind of shopped around for some fun like little surprises and supplies. I also mentioned in that video that I do something called the Backpack Fairy. So the Backpack Fairy is something that I've seen on like on Pinterest and stuff like that. And when my young or oldest was starting school last year, I was kind of nervous on how she would be because it was the first time she was going to be away from me and just in a, in a school like facility environment as well as like having a teacher that wasn't me um and so we started the backpack fairy which is was supposed to like kind of help her transition into schooling and basically the backpack fairy visits your little one either the night before school or maybe a couple days however you'd like to do it and brings them a new backpack or maybe like their backpack from last year but they fill it with goodies either like a new t-shirt like a hair bow um some fun notebooks, what have you, and just something that's new and exciting and kind of gets them pumped and ready. So I already shared a lot of those stuff from that video, um, in that video. So if you have already seen that, you may have seen some repeats, but if you haven't, you're gonna see some stuff. And I am gonna share with you some clothing items as well as just some other miscellaneous things. Um, I did my summer haul not too long ago, and we live in Texas, so it's still they're freaking toasty um so i didn't buy a whole heck of a lot of clothes because she still can wear some the majority of her summer clothes um that she really didn't get a chance to wear yet at school so she'll have those um and then i will probably do like a bigger fall winter approaching haul um later on a couple months down the road probably in like september um so if you're interested in seeing that please let me know below because i would love to film that for you as well um but everything that i got was on an awesome deal i am a huge bargain shopper so i can't wait to share all that with you and the majority of the stuff i got was i believe from walmart maybe there were a couple items from amazon and then of course the dollar tree which everything's a dollar but i will try to make sure i link everything at least from walmart and from amazon below all right enough of my babbling let's get started <laughs> So first we're gonna start with backpacks. Now I did get my two year old one because I didn't wanna leave her out when the backpack fairy visited her as well. Um, and she is very much aware of any atrocities made to her if she is not included in anything. Um, and she was due for like a new diaper bag. So I found this really cute little backpack. Now this is very similar if you are familiar with Skip Hop. Um, this is a very similar like backpack. It looks pretty much identical to one of like a lot of their backpacks except that they have two like mesh cup holders on the side. I love that they're mesh and they're super stretchy. Um, Skip Pop normally has one, at least all the ones that we've had, and it's not normally mesh. So I really, really like these. Um, 
Now, when I have a newborn or they're just a lot younger and I have to carry a lot around, I normally have like a, a f normal diaper bag. But once they get to be more of like a toddler, we just have a little one and this will just like throw in the car to make sure we have extra diapers, wipes, a change of clothing, um, a couple toys if we're going to the restaurant. And she also takes this to Sunday school um, in her like nursery area. So. I think these are just easy and they're not as big and bulky as like a regular diaper bag and they're just cute and it makes them feel kind of like big and important. So we found this. Now these were super inexpensive. We got this at Walmart and it was only $9.98. It was super cheap. I totally recommend these. I believe the Skip Hop ones are like 20 or under. I don't feel like they're over that but they may be. Um, but this is way cheaper than that. So I feel like it is a very similar quality too. I really like it. Um, and they have a ton of different ones. They have like a unicorn, um, a panda, a giraffe, a shark, a kitty cat, um, a whole bunch of other ones that I cannot think right now. But I just really love the panda. I thought it was so cute and it's just so her. I love all the hearts and everything. So this is for my youngest, Eleanor. And then my oldest, she got a Pottery Barn backpack last year um, and it had the princesses on it and it was monogrammed and everything and it was beautiful and stunning and I really recommend those backpacks. I think they're amazing quality, but everyone had that backpack. So when your kids are younger, it's kind of hard, even if their names are monogrammed, to like really identify like, oh, that's my backpack or that's this backpack. And I just wanted her to feel like she had something a little bit different than everybody else and it wasn't so hard to like, Okay, well, whose backpack is whose? So, um, I decided to not go with Pottery Barn this year, although I still recommend them. I think they're amazing and beautiful, and that backpack is still in amazing condition, and we'll be using it for, like, sleepovers and overnight bags and stuff like that. Um, but I wanted to find her something that I hadn't seen before, and I found this, and this is perfect for her. Now, this is a um, brand called Zip It, and if you know my daughter, you would know that she loves to draw and to color. She will spend hours of her day drawing and coloring. She's obsessed with it. And it's so funny because when she was a toddler, she like had no interest in it. And I was like, oh, it's so weird. Like she doesn't like coloring because I loved to color when I was a kid. But now like literally that's all she does. She loves to color, paint, use, you know, like ki kid scissors, tape things, create everything. It's like her favorite thing to do. So when I saw this, this was perfect for her. They also have a really, really cute um, boys, little boy version. And it has, it's like an adventure one. So this is like, it looks like a log and there's like a little shovel. Super cute. I will have them linked below. I got this on Walmart or Amazon. I don't know or remember which one, but I will definitely have it linked below for where I got it. And I just loved, like they have like little faux, like pick colored pencils and pens. I love that this looks like, and like the adult coloring books and it's kind of filled in, um, but it looks like a little pouch. And on the sides, it has other like little, like pens over here and pencils over here. And then the backs have like straps. I just thought this was so cute. I really love the quality of this. Um, so there's always obviously like one big main compartment and then the front pocket and there are two side pockets for cups. So this is perfect for her. Like I said, she's in pre-K so she doesn't need anything giant. This is a perfect size for her. I just think it's super cute and unique and I loved the little boys version one as well. So have them both linked below because they are adorable. I believe that this was about $27. Um, so it was a little bit cheaper than the Pottery Barn one um, and a bit more than like, like the ones that you'd find at like Target um, and or Walmart, but the quality is really nice and I feel like this is going to last a while. I hate buying like the character bags from like Target, Walmart because they're super thin and they start like just coming apart and loose and like rubbing and so fast. So I really like this because this feels really nice and durable. Okay, so now we're going to get started with clothes. Now, like I said before, um, my oldest doesn't really need a whole heck of a lot of clothes because she still has a ton left from summer and my youngest isn't officially starting school and she has a ton from her sister to pass down and from summer as well. So I just got my youngest one outfit that she can have with her backpack ferret comes and visits and it's this little My Little Pony set. So this is like 
stitched together my oldest had one i think i might have showed it to you i don't remember but it was like a mickey mouse or Minnie mouse one and it looked just like this but just red and black and with mickey minis all over it and it was super cute now my oldest is obsessed with my little pony and now my youngest eleanor is getting obsessed because my oldest loves it so um they didn't have this in my an olive size so I got it in Eleanor's and it just has some of the ponies on it, some patches, and it just looks so cute. It just makes me think of the 90s and stuff that I totally wore. And then it has little rainbow pants to go along with it. I got this at Walmart for I believe under $10. And that is the only thing that I got Eleanor. I hate when people, I don't want people to think like, oh, I don't, I love Olive more or something like that. It's just Eleanor's too. She honestly could care less. She just sees like pretty things and cool clothes in her drawer that she has from her sister and is totally happy. Okay, so like I said, I only got uh, just a few items, but I will show them to you. I found this dress and I thought it was super cute. It says rad, but what I love is the leopard. I love that leopard print and cheetah print is becoming so popular because when I was a kid, it was literally everything to me. I wanted every single thing I owned to be in cheetah print and I wanted it to be in like the brown one I, would, I didn't really care that much about like the multicolored or the pink or the purple like I wanted it to be like as authentic as possible and so it makes me so excited this is coming popular again because I think it's so cute they also have a version that says yay and it's like rainbow which I also liked a lot too and I may pick it up that as well but I got this at Walmart this is the Wonder Nation line I love that line I used to be obsessed with the Cat and Jack line at Target and I feel like over the recent years it's really let me down. This Wonder Nation line has totally stepped up the game at Walmart. It is so nice. I like the quality of the clothes a lot and they're super super cute. So she has this cute little leopard dress and I believe this was like $11.88. This is a lot more like fall appropriate but I just figured that if I didn't get this now I would have probably not gotten it. But this is another Wonder Nation. I think everything I got is Wonder Nation. <laughs> Um, and this I also believe was like 1188 or something like that um, and it's just this really adorable like flannelly type of shirt I love the plaid design on it it's distressed and so it has like it looks like it's like been worn and loved and faded and it ties you obviously don't have to tie it you can completely undo it but I just thought this with some like br uh, black black denim like leggings and like brown riding boots oh my gosh she'd be so cute i am like so ready for the fall so i just love this i think it's adorable super cute it's actually really really nice and thin and lightweight so i think she could easily wear it now um i love it i want one <laughs> next is this really pretty dress um i just thought this was so beautiful they had it in a bunch of different colors and i saw this online which by the way guys i the majority of the time will order online even when i see it in store i will go back and order online one because typically i get free shipping if you spend over 25 dollars, i believe which i typically always do and two um nine times out of ten it's cheaper online than it is in store i don't know why they do that um but i highly recommend going and checking it. specifically not just with clothes but also with toys i told you that their sales right now are great at walmart because they're doing their big clearance markdown so tons of toys actually in store are on clearance and online but if like newer toys you're interested in like the toy story toys right now because i'm looking for my youngest all of their stuff is like marked down considerably online so just go and check it out i know people don't really think to think to like go online to order from walmart but it's totally such a win anyway but i found this dress and online i didn't think it was as pretty but then i saw it in store and i loved it so i ended up going back and ordering it they have it in a couple different colors i just love this pink i think it'll look so pretty on her um it's high neck, but it's like that chiffon material so you can kind of see through. It's a bit more transparent in person than it's showing up online. And there's a pretty slip underneath it. I thought this would be so pretty for um, school because she likes to get fancy, but also like church. Um, and just when the seasons start to change, I just loved it. I thought it was so beautiful. So she has this. This next one kills me. I love it. They also have one that's um, a different color, but I just had to get this one and it is this adorable two-piece set now I'm not sure 
I bet you could detach. Yeah, it does look like the shirt completely detaches. So you could have, you have like two separate items, which actually is really nice. But it's just this like mock neck, um, ribbed, really stretchy, cream colored shirt over under this like adorable little plaid jumper. This makes me think of Clueless. I just love this so much. It is super cute. Once again, from Wonder Nation. Um, and all of these are in a 4.5 because that is the age or the size range she fits in. Um, but I believe they do go up to, I think like a 10.12, maybe even a bit a bigger than that. Um, but I just think that these are, I just can't. I just can't. They have another one that's like a hot pink shirt with like a black and gray and then pink plaid. Um, but I just, or houndstooth with like, you know what I'm saying? You know what this is. Anyway, super cute. I just cannot. I think this will be adorable with like little um, booties for fall. But it's like a super great transition piece for Texas. And because we, you know, live here and it's freaking hot until December. So, even sometimes in December. So, this next item follows the leopard theme. I just can't get enough. And when my daughter saw this in store, she freaked out too. Um, and so... I went online and I purchased it. Now the bottoms were sold out in her size, so I have to buy them in store. Um, but this was another thing that was like $5 or $7 less online than it was in store. So definitely check it out before you, if you find something in store, check it out and see if you can get it online for cheaper. Um, but it's just the cutest freaking denim jacket. They also have a matching denim skirt. Like I said, I will plan on getting um, in her size. It's just so cute. I like this also because it is, once again, a really good fall transition piece. It is a lightweight jacket. It's not going to be anything great for the winter time, but for fall, it's really nice and it is so cute. They have this in a bunch of other colors if you're interested. They have it in white, um, denim, I think like an acid wash denim, teal, I believe they have it in black. They have it in a bunch of different colors and it is just so cute. So cute. So the last clothing item is more of a athletic wear item. Um, she is in gymnastics and I love to buy leotards. They are so much fun for me to buy because they are so cute. And I found this on Amazon and just thought it was so pretty and this will be great for her to kind of start her school year off even though she's been going through gymnastics all year. She didn't stop during the summertime. That's just kind of fun. Um, and it's just this beautiful like ombre Leo bike tard um and i love the neckline it's actually kind of like that mesh material so you can see through your skin tone it uh, has all these beautiful crystals on it it makes me think of like elsa or like an ice princess it makes me think of ice princess exactly the figure skating movie back in like 2005 i don't know when that movie came out oh my gosh such a good movie totally makes me think about one of her skating outfits that she had. I love the ombre that it goes down to. It's kind of iridescent too. Um, so pretty. So, so pretty. I love this. I think this was less than $15 and I got it on Amazon. And I think it's going to look really, really pretty on her. So that's all the clothes. I do plan on getting a couple more things. Like I said, for fall and winter time, I will be getting a lot more things because they do not have anything for that yet. Um, and if you're interested, please let me know below if you would like me to film that. But for right now, I feel like this will be totally fine. She will need a couple of shoes, but I like to take her shopping for the shoes just to see kind of where her foot is. Um, but let's jump into the supplies. I said this in my last um, video, my day in life video, but I got two of these trays. These are from Dollar Tree um, and they're the activity trays. Now they have something similar I think right now at Target, but these are amazing if you do home daycare, if you do homeschooling, if you are a teacher at a school or a preschool, what have you, or if you just like to work with your kids at home. These are amazing. They're perfect for sensory activities. They are perfect for art and craft activities. They are perfect for slime and play-doh and uh, I think even like a lot of stem activities like these are just so nice and there's so many things you can do with them I love being able to put like I said in my video like a big wad of play-doh and like put have multiple different like uh, textures and uh, things to be able to stick it and create with it um, same thing for like 
arts and crafts having multiple different shapes and from them just to be able to pick and create it's just for free and open-ended um, creations and I love it I think these are super super nice and they help keep everything kind of a bit more organized so I got a purple one and a pink one for each girl along with their activity trays this is more of like the backpack fairy theme of what they're gonna bring them um eleanor has a mini and mickey ha uh, mickey mouse clubhouse coloring book she really loves mickey and she's getting really into coloring so this is perfect for her ollie like i said loves to draw it is a bit more on the open-ended than she loves just like to color in things she prefers to be able to draw and create herself so i found this doodle pad um at dollar tree i love these these are like 60 sheets in here and I think these are just great if you really like, if your younger one loves to color and create too, and they're so cheap and she loves these types of things. So she has one for that. To go along with the coloring thing, we have two box of crayons for each girl, which by the way, I got these at Dollar Tree and Crayola apparently now sells at Dollar Tree, which is exciting because it's normally been like an off brand or um, crazy art which i love crazy art but just saying um but it was kind of exciting to see a 24 pack at uh dollar tree i i also got a new set of markers i actually really like the crazy art markers sometimes even better than the crayola ones when they're a lot cheaper but i just like the colors and i feel like they last just as well and they don't get all like balled up at the end um i like them a lot so we have a new pack of markers and a pack of colored pencils now these are both for the girls to share ollie's been really wanting to try more of some colored pencils out in different mediums so um we have a pack of these pack of these so this next thing is stickers now Eleanor's too. She loves anything that has to do with stickers because she's a toddler. Olive never really got into them until now. Now she's like weirdly obsessed with them. So I found this set from Dollar Tree that's like a dress up set. And there's like um, six little girls and there's tons of different clothing. I don't know how they're going to be able to like change the amount of outfits per girl, but whatever. Um, but they're super cute and I think she's going to love those. I found these, which are Crazy Art stickers, at Walmart, and they have like over a thousand stickers in them. And they're just all different types. Totally up her alley, just very girly, like animals and clothing. Oh, here's another dress up one, which is really cute. Things like that. I got these at Walmart for I think like a dollar or something. And then I found these Shopkins ones. Um, they both are really, really into Shopkins. My youngest is probably more obsessed, so these will probably go to her. So some Shopkins stickers. I love just getting cheap stickers from Walmart. Keep them occupied, man. So I found these Tangle Puzzle from Dollar Tree. I love these things. One, they're a dollar. And I think I found them also at Target, the Target dollar section, but I think they're actually cheaper at Walmart or at Dollar Tree. Um, I love these because they are so compact that it's actually tin, so the cardboard isn't falling apart and they're really easy to travel with and store. I love these, but she's gotten really into Tangled, so I found this for her. Um, She's been begging for a glue stick. I don't know why. She's really been wanting to use one. So I found this cool one at Dollar Tree. It's like a jumbo one. And I like the fact that it's like almost like a triangle shape. Or not almost. It is a triangle shape. So I think it's better for her to be able to maneuver. And then she's also been wanting to um, upgrade her scissors. The ones she have right now are from Melissa and Doug. And they're plastic. And they work okay. But now she's like ready for like the big girl scissors, you know. So she has a pair of these. Like I said, Eleanor doesn't have as much but she also is just two and doesn't need as much. She's not really going to school, um, but she will be included. Of course, she does have a couple things like I've showed before. Okay, so the next item are lunchbox notes. And these are super, super cute. Last year when Ollie started school, I tried to make her lunchbox as cute as possible, kind of decorate it with themes and do all the cutouts and all of that stuff. And this year I just wanted to add some of these. I did write her little notes on her napkin, but I love that I found these at the Dollar Tree. And obviously you can make these by yourself or write on napkins or do what you like, but I just thought they were adorable. This one says, have a fun day. And then we have, be brave, you got this. You are too sweet. And then there's some ones that are like fill in the blanks or that they're empty so you can write your own notes. But even with these, you could easily just like write on the back um, and reuse them. And I just think they're so sweet and super cute. I can't wait to find more. <laughs> I really want to find more now. They have a ton of free ones that you can print on Pinterest if you're interested. Um, and we have a lam laminator that we got at Sam's Club for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. 
maybe a little bit more than that, but not very much. It was super inexpensive and it works amazing. We use it all the time. And um, that'd be great too if you wanted to print them off and then have them like laminated so you can reuse them. But anyway, if not, if you want to just spend a dollar, they really cute ones at Dollar Tree right now. Next, I found these. These are like the Sistema knockoff ones. I've been wanting to get my hands on these for a couple of years now. They were always gone by the time I went and looked, so I was so excited that I found some. They have them in a bunch of different colors. I really want to get them in the mint color, but I'm sure they're gone by now. But I love that they like lock. They're perfect for snacks, perfect for different compartments for lunch. Um, I love these. I think they're super cute, such a great deal, and I got these at Dollar Tree. And then I got this cute little pencil case. I do want to get another one um, before school starts just because I don't think this is like the best quality. Um, I got this at Dollar Tree, but it is super cute. I love that it says little things and it's really adorable, but I do want one that I know it's going to last. Of course, she's Olive is not Anna Eleanor we won't be using these things at school, but just at home um, and the days that they're not at school just to have fun and foster learning and creativity. I love doing that stuff. You may call it spoiling. It is what it is. They're my kids. <laughs> Next, I found these Fancy Nancy folders. There are two of them in a pack. I got these at Dollar Tree, and Olive is obsessed with Fancy Nancy, um, and she really wants to be able to like keep all of her beautiful artworks and drawings and portfolios, and we do hang a lot of them up, but she makes so many a day, so these are perfect for her to be able to store them and kind of keep them in, and she can pull them out and look what she likes, um, and they're just Fancy Nancy, so they're super, super cute. To add to Ollie's little backpack, now I know that People have a lot of opinions about kids with makeup. This is a clear cupcake flavored lip gloss geared toward kids from Jojo Siwa. She'll be so excited. Now I probably won't let her keep this in her backpack, but it's just fun for her to kind of get excited with. And um, it's super cute, it's like a unicorn. I got this for like two bucks on sale at Walmart. And then these two I know aren't technically um, school supplies or anything like that, but I love getting like little figures, one because my kids love them, specifically my youngest, but they're great for sensory activities. So if I create sensory bins, I love to do those for the different times of the year, and I like to add figures so they can use them to explore and play with inside. So um, like I said before, they're obsessed with My Little Pony, so we have Twilight Sparkle for my youngest, and Applejack for my oldest. I like flourish myself right here. Last but not least, I like to get them books for just about everything. If you've watched a lot of my past, like what I got my kids for Christmas, Valentine's Day, and Easter, which by the way, I make them every year, and if you're interested in those, then go check out my um, past videos. I love making those, um, but I like to always get books. I love to read, and I love to foster their um, love for reading. We go to the library all the time, but I also like to build their collection as well. So for Eleanor, she is on the potty training track. It's been a struggle with her. <laughs> Not been fun. Um, but she does love Daniel Tiger, so we got Daniel goes to the potty, and this one, like, flushes. So I'm sure she's gonna love that. She's obsessed with flushing. Um, but hopefully we can get some successful potty in. in. She's so there. She just, so there. She just... <sighs> anyway. Um, and then with Olive, she, like I said, is obsessed with Fancy Nancy, and I found these Fancy Nancy phonics books. I love the phonics, like, little series like these. They have a ton. They also have Pinkalicious, which I also want to get. Um, and I just, I think these are super great because they're easy to store. And there's a bunch of little mini books in here, and they work on short and long vowel sounds. So there's a ton, and they start with book one, obviously, and they go through book 12. Um, and I think a lot of these are, yeah, some of these are ones that we've read before, like for, that we've rented from the library, but most of these are not. Um, and I really like them, and I'm super excited for her to read them because she loves Fancy Nancy and these are perfect for her to be able to like practice with herself because she loves to after we read a book at night for her to take her book in bed and just kind of look over and practice so these are perfect for that as well all right so that is the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it like I said I will try to make sure I link everything below Dollar Tree I don't think I can but everything that I got from Walmart or Amazon I will link below and please let me know if you're interested in a fall and winter like 
fashion Tyler fashion haul thing you know what I'm saying <laughs> um and thank you so much for watching let me know if you're excited for back to school if you have little ones going for the first time or if you have older ones um I cannot wait I'm really ready for this new season and just taking this year off to spend time with my girls and I don't know I'm excited to see what this year holds so I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching it really means the world to me when you watch my videos and comment and just engage with me I love it I just it really brings me such joy so thank you again and I will see you guys all very soon in my next video bye guys